Hi, I'm Madison Lozano, reporter with the Colleen Daily Herald. I'm here with State Representative Rob, Ralph Sheffield. And what makes you the best qualified person to represent District 55, which includes Temple, Belton, and much of Bell County? Well, I'm a proven leader, proven conservative. Uh, I was first elected in 2008, and so I've now served three terms, uh, uh, three terms uh, in the House. And uh, that being the case, I believe that uh, since I've been in the House, uh, we've had the most conservative uh, record in Texas history. We have uh, passed a major legislation that's landmark legislation for pro-life, sign ground bill and, and the uh, uh, abortion after 20 weeks uh, uh, ban. Uh, we've passed voter ID uh, law under my watch. We have uh, uh, continued to secure the border and finance uh, uh, more at the border. Uh, we have continued to cut taxes, actually uh, balance our budget, and but yet cut taxes for small businesses. Uh, we have uh, continued to uh, make sure we provide for the water and the transportation infrastructure in Texas, and really worked hard in this last uh, bond election in November to pass Prop 6, which was a water issue that we need very big time in Texas. And so I've been a part of all that. And that being said, uh, you know, I serve on uh, defense and uh, veteran affairs as, as vice chair. So I really understand our veterans issues, which is a big part of our district too. We have a lot of veterans, some 49,000 veterans live in this district. Uh, uh, again, I am proven, uh, I've proven my conservatorship, I've proven my accessibility. And I think that you will find that uh, the kind of work I've done, if you go to Texas Legislature website, uh, you can see the, the work I've co-authored as far as bills, you can see the, the things that I've passed that I authored as well. And one in particular has to do with our veterans here in this area. It's, it's, uh, I've created the, the Veteran Entrepreneurship Program this last session, uh, which fully funds uh, uh, the veterans to have an opportunity to be able to learn how to go into business for themselves. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, so I was able to be a part of that and, and on the House sponsor side and got the funding for it. Uh, it fell two other sessions before it failed. So I think it, on top of that, I'm a 40-year small businessman in Bell County that, that has shown uh, how involved I've been in charities, other organizations, and so forth, and always been there. And so I'm always going to be there for my constituents here in District 55. That qualifies me to be the best. And why are you running for re-election? This will be my fourth term, uh, run for re-election. Uh, uh, again, it has to do with leadership. You know, the, the longer you're there, the more leadership you get. You actually move up in the ranks. Uh, I will be in the, in the top third of the House, uh, 150 members. Uh, I've, I've proven myself qualified, and I'm running because I can. I, I, I can, I want to make a difference as a small businessman. We don't have enough of us on the House floor. Okay, and what are the most important issues facing the people of District 55? It's, it's going to be continue to always be pretty much the same. It's still always education, it's transportation. Uh, you know, the water is a big issue. Uh, it's continue to be a big issue. We're continue working on that as well. Uh, I believe that uh, uh, not when I say education too, it's not just uh, it's also higher education. You know, we have a great university out here uh, west of town, uh, the A and M uh, Central Texas. And I actually helped get the funding for that. And uh, along with Jimmy Don Acock, he and I work very good together. And uh, I think we'll make a great team for Bell County. All right, and what are the most important issues in Texas? Well, in Texas, actually the, the speaker just gave us some interim charges uh, just about two weeks ago. And what that is, is every committee uh, will get a, basically an interim charge study that we do off session and decide how we're gonna tackle some of the big issues out there. Uh, uh, one of the other one of the committees that I sit on is energy resource, and that's the oil and gas industry, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a big driving force in our economics in Texas right now. We're able to do a lot of things we're able to do because of the revenues that oil and gas have been able to produce. I think the big issue is still we still got a school finance issue we're facing, that uh, once the courts get done with it here maybe by the springtime that we will start tackling that issue. I think that uh, we have an unbalanced uh, uh, franchise uh, tax law that that taxes small businesses that really uh, uh, has not offset the property tax valuation that we deal with as well. So uh, I hear those kind of concerns and, and 
But you know, the, the other thing is that there's little things that, uh, that I've worked on in the past that really means a lot to our constituents as well. And those are things like uh, uh, we got a lot of situations with child abuse. Uh, I actually authored a bill uh, two sessions ago that actually helps identify some of those involved in a child abuse case, whether the victim or, or, or not. And, and help coordinate law enforcement with uh, Fort Hood, for example, mm -hmm. on identifying those people so they wouldn't be shipped out so the hearing would be able to take place. So uh, there's, there's all kinds of issues that are floating around out there. It depends on who you are and what you think the greatest issue is, but uh, I have ears. Okay, and can you tell me what bills you plan to introduce in the next session? I really haven't looked at any uh, bills in particular this next session right now. It's still a little premature. No one's approached me about carrying legislation. Mm -hmm. Uh, I do get approached from time to time to carry legislation. Uh, uh, a good example is last session, uh, the city of Temple had asked me to carry some legislation that would help them do away with surplus property. Property that they were having to maintain that was costing taxpayers in the city of Temple money just to maintain. So my legislation actually helped pass uh, uh, a bill that allows the city of Temple now to get rid of those properties at little cost or, or no cost at all to put them back on the tax road. Okay. And your opponent in the March 4th primary, Molly White, recently challenged you to a debate. Do you think you'll accept her challenge or any other debates in the future? Well, that debate is tomorrow. That debate was scheduled for tomorrow. I was notified middle of last week. And uh, uh, I, I think at the same time, if, if there was to be a debate, it should be a debate by a bipartisan group, mm -hmm. not by a group that's endorsing her uh, as the Tea Party group is, and not by a guy that's uh, actually encouraging her to have the debate, which I've already beat twice. So. I see it that my time can be better utilized uh, making phone calls tomorrow is the first day of early voting. That's what I'm doing. I'm working in the polls and I'm making phone calls. Would you consider a debate in the future? Uh, there's no future because March primary is March 4th. Mm -hmm. There should have been a debate back in January. When I first ran in 2008, mm -hmm. uh, there, was, there was no incumbent, okay? There was four of us that ran. And that's a difference too, okay? So you want to identify who says what and what they do, okay? Again, I have a proven record. So if you want to debate my record, spend money and debate it in the newspaper, on the TV or whatever. Mm -hmm. But don't uh, want to get free press, try to debate something that's not going to happen. Because again, it, it's, it's like me saying, I'm going to hold a debate at Las Casas restaurant, my restaurant. You know, I'm going to invite all my friends and that's going to be the audience. So uh, that's really, a, it, it's, it's, it's really, a, uh, it, it's just a crazy thing. So. Okay. And is there anything else you'd like to say to area voters? I, I just think that the bottom line is, is that again, look at my record. I'm a proven conservative, and I mean proven. You know, I've served the House now for six years. And if you have an issue with uh, any of my records, I've let it be known. My cell phone is 254-493-4399. Call me. I'm willing to discuss anything with somebody. Also, being that I'm in the restaurant business, I'm in my restaurant pretty much on a daily basis when I'm not in Austin. And there's not many politicians you can touch on a daily basis that uh, that's accessible like I am. I'm very accessible. And, and uh, so uh, that being the case, I think that I really have my ears to the ground. I know what my constituents want and what their needs are.